Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, I'm going to give you my full review of the Windy Gaming Super Gun Model ATP 300. Let's get started. So I previously did an unboxing video and a first impressions video regarding the Super Gun. And if you're wondering what the term Super Gun is, in a nutshell, it's basically the unit that lets me play an arcade game on my TV as a console. And there are different super guns out there, different brands, different uh, ways you can build them. You can build them on your own. Windy Gaming here has put together a all-in-one kind of package. So the first thing I want to talk about is the price. These are available at windygaming.com for $300 without a SCART. Uh, the SCART is a specialized cable. Uh, if you, you can provide your own SCART if you'd like. However, if you would like the one included from them, it's $325. This is the one I went with. And just for reference, you can see just over that way uh, to the left side of the screen at the very bottom is the actual Windy Game Super Gun running using Street Fighter 2. I've got it uh, through the Elgato. I've just got a very poor HDMI converter on it at the time. So I don't have a full blown uh, OSSC or a retro tank or anything like that running with it right now. It's just simply using a very, very low budget uh, SCART to HDMI converter. Now, when I purchased this, uh, they shipped it out fairly quick. They didn't know that I was doing it as a review. Uh, I told them that after I bought it and after they had already shipped it. Uh, I purchased this after doing a lot of research and, and settling on this unit because my needs are pretty straightforward and this unit fit exactly what I needed it to do. So here is the ATP 300 on the very front of it. Uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You can see the logo ATP 300, Windy Gaming, a button for coin one, a button for coin two, player one and player two controller ports. These are DB15 controller ports. Familiar, uh, if you're familiar with the Neo Geo, uh, these will seem right at home to you. Uh, with these controllers, you can actually, these, these ports themselves, you can actually use with a PS3 or an Xbox 360 stick if you have one of these. You can see it in the corner here, it's an undamped uh, converter, it's an Xbox 360 uh, PS3 decoder. You can see it fits right into the unit here, the DB15. And on the other side is the USB for your Xbox 360 or PS3 fight stick. I will say though, you can purchase these at uh, Paradise Arcade or Arcade Shock. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, with these, and I will say with these, there is a bit of a catch. And the catch is that the way this super gun is wired, it will not work with this converter as is. Uh, you will either, there are two options. Number one is to rewire uh, the the JAMA, which you can do, it's, you swap it out for a few different, uh, you swap a few different cables in there. Not a big deal. However, if you're using it for multiple setups, if you're using it for Neo Geo stuff, if you're using it for CPS2 stuff, you will run into a bit of an issue. And if you're using it for specific games on top of that, so Windy Gaming does have an additional accessory here. Uh, it's called the UD2 ATP pin adapter for the undammed DB15 to USB. Uh, it's $15 without the DB15 cable. With the DB15 cable, it jumps up to 25 bucks. So if you wanted to use two player using a PS3 fight stick, for example, and you didn't want to do any rewiring, you could always just purchase this adapter here. It would run you with the DB15 cables an extra 50 bucks. And then there's also a UD2 ATP enclosure. Now it looks like these closures are sold out. I, I'm not sure if they'll bring them back or not. I, I assume they might. Uh, I assume there might be a bit of uh, a bit of a demand for them. And I've noticed online that there have been some people who are really against this. They, they're upset that you have to essentially purchase an additional uh, adapter to have Xbox 360 and, and PS3 uh, controllers work. 
but at the same time, it's completely optional. So, so I feel that if you're purchasing this and you plan on using something that connects to DB15, that's absolutely fine. You don't have to worry. Uh, if you would like to use a PS3 or Xbox 360 fight stick, you will have to purchase an additional piece. So I'm just giving you the heads up. I don't have a problem with it. I completely understand it. Um, but some people might not know that purchasing the unit. Now, if we take a look at the cable coming out the back, this is what plugs into your arcade game. Uh, for example, on the CPS2, the little white thing is the kick harness that supports the extra buttons. And this is the main JAMA connector. So it says this side up, you can see all the pins here. And on the bottom, it says do not connect. So it's nice because it lets you know which side you can connect it, which side you couldn't, you're not supposed to connect it. Um, I would have liked to see maybe a little piece that could slide in here manually so that you could only connect it one way and you didn't accidentally connect it the wrong way into your CPS2 thing. So it's just be very careful when you are plugging it in. On the back, it's pretty simple here. There are just a few switches. You can see the AV cable. Um, that is the, uh, or the video and audio out to whatever device you're plugging it into. So whatever TV, monitor, or whatever, uh, you will use that AV out. There is a sink cleaner, um, as well as an audio switch and a service and test switch as well. Now, it's pretty simple. In terms of super guns, this isn't highly configurable. It's nice and simple. And I will say it's nice and simple. Some people would like to see a lot of configurations here. However, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted something simple that I could just plug in mindlessly, not fiddle around with it. I have one CPS2 game. I have one CPS2 uh, board, and that is Street Fighter 2. And that's literally all I have in terms of uh, arcade games right now. So I plan on expanding my library by maybe one, maybe two games at the most. Uh, but I bought this really for Street Fighter uh, on CPS2. So I didn't want to go crazy and buy, you know, a five, six, seven hundred dollar super gun uh, when this fit my budget. It's nice and simple. There's not a lot of options here, which is exactly what I wanted. I wanted something that I could just plug in and it work. And this does exactly that. So looking on the inside here on the right side is the power supply. Uh, you can see it plugging into the actual board that has the Gemma. So the Gemma is this giant connector here. Uh, you can see the kick harness wires as well. You can see on top, these are where the controller ports are. This is the coin button here, the other coin button here. And it's pretty much it. So there is a fan to cool everything off, which is really nice. And it's a, a beefy fan too. It, it's not anything uh, that light. So, it, so it's kind of nice. Like overall, the setup's simple, but it, it accomplishes what it needs to. And if you wanted to build your own super gun, for example, you could head on over to Retro Electronic. Uh, you could take a look at this uh, Super Gun Arcade uh, Pro Gamer. So this runs, I believe, if I can get, get the price up here, it's 59 euro. I think that's roughly 90 bucks Canadian, uh, give or take. So in theory, I could purchase one of these. I could hook a power supply up to it, hook the proper JAMA cables up, make sure the voltages are all right, uh, make sure the sound is right, make sure the video audio output is all right. Um, and that's time consuming to me. And then I'd have to find an enclosure for it as well. So it, it's fun from a DIY perspective, but from an overall effort perspective uh, for one game that I have, uh, the Windy Gaming uh, ATP 300 just made sense to me. And a more expensive option would be, for example, Jason's Customs MK30. This thing is a beauty. Uh, it's incredible. Jason does amazing work. It's got a solid build. Uh, if you have multiple arcade games, multiple uses, feel like tweaking a bunch of different settings, um, you know, maybe something like the MK30 is your choice of super gun. But if you're like me, you have one, maybe two, maybe three arcade games. Your needs for arcade uh, arcade stuff is fairly simple. Um, and you just want something simple and easy that's plug and play, that's going to work, that's reliable. 
the Windy Gaming ATP 300 might definitely be something to consider. And I've had this thing for quite some time, got quite a bit of use out of it, and I'm very, very happy with it. It's reliable, it's solid, it does what I need it to do. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them regarding the ATP 300. Just take in mind, uh, I only have one game and it's a CPS2 game and it's right over there. <laughs> Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Uh, so I don't have any other arcade games to plug into this at this time. Uh, and that's all I've got. So if you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.